much. And thank you so much, Monique, for, for putting these on. Um, I think that it's a great way for us to stay in touch with our patients. And um, I just want to welcome all of you to our live event today. And um, of course, I hope you all, oh, whoops, I don't know what just happened. Hmm. Okay, there we go. I have my tea for my quarantine. <laughs> so ready to get started with that. So we're going to be talking about peels today, and we're going to be talking specifically about the perfect derma peel. So one of the things I wanted to talk about first is um, one of the reasons that it's so important for you to come in and have a consultation before any procedure that you have done is that we, you know, again, we sit down and put together a treatment plan specifically for you. We get you on the right product so that you get the best result, and also get let you know what you what to expect as far as healing time and when you go through any type of procedure. So with peels, it's the same thing. Oftentimes people will say, I want to get a peel and they'll just book a peel. And we don't do it that way. And the reason why is because we want to make sure that you're a candidate. We want to make sure that your skin is prepped um, and that uh, you're all ready and prepared for what's to come. So with chemical peels, um, all, there's all kinds of different chemical peels out there. And um, one of the things that's great about chemical peels, it's a great way to kind of freshen, brighten, and lighten um, lifeless, dull skin. So I recommend people get a, a peel every three months. So every quarter, like once a quarter. So um, it's a great way to have a pick me up. If you're looking for, if you have a specific, um, uh, skin condition, i.e. of rough texture, or you have discoloration, you're going to need to do more corrective. And with that, you're going to need to do a series of peels, anywhere from three to five peels done about four to six weeks apart. So we just want to make sure that we're on the same page, okay? Um, with peels, with all peels, and with a lot of these products, um, uh, procedures, we talked about pre-treating. So there's the Fitzpatrick scale, which is a skin typing scale. So one is like Irish, red hair, white skin. Six is dark African-American. One through three, which is English, Irish, Scandinavian, German. We can, actually be mo we can actually be really aggressive with these skin types, which oftentimes people think is different because they think that they're more sensitive. And actually, actually these skin types heal really nicely. So we can really do anything with those skin types. It's, and then there's a skin typing scale, then the skin type uh, four through six, you need to be a little more careful with. So for example, that's um, Greek, Italian, Middle Eastern, Asian, even though the skin is light, okay? Even though that skin is light, it's how your skin responds. So oftentimes, um, obviously, um, Latino, Hispanic, um, African-American, these skin types have a tendency to have what we call post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So what that means is they get a scar and it stays dark and it, and it actually stays dark for a couple months. And that's what we call post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. And that's why it's really important to be very careful with these skin types. So with pre-treating for appeal, um, everyone can do this. We all kind of talked about the Elastin Skin Nectar, which is one of my favorite products to prep for a procedure. So with this particular product, you would wanna use this two weeks prior to a peel. Um, what it does is it actually clears out the extracellular matrix with all the debris. So it's actually gonna help you get the best results from your peel. I also wanna let you know that with my, with my patients, I will actually put this into their protocol every four to five months just to clear everything out so that their products penetrate better um, when they're using those using is Skin Better Alpha Ret, which is a retinol. Skin Medica also has a retinol as well. And you want to be using these products because what it's going to do is it's going to slough off that dread, dead, dry, dull skin cells, pushing the new cells up to the surface, prepping your skin so you get the best results for your peel. Um, also, another thing that I really like, and I talked about this also uh, at my last um, webinar, I do love the Skin Better Exfoliating Pads. So I actually have patients use these three, is it upside down? It's upside down, three times a week. So usually at night, three times a week, just so you can get a really good exfoliation. So those are great products to use before a peel. Um, if you're a skin type, we talked about the skin types four through six, right? We want to make sure that we pre-treat them with a lightening agent. So we use hydroquinone. So hydroquinone 
is the gold standard for lightening and brightening. With um, uh, over the counter, you can get a 2%. Doctors prescribe a four. We can do six, eight, 10. It just depends on what your skin needs. So we would have you prep with this for four, four weeks prior to your peel, okay? And again, coming in before, getting prepped, making sure that we're giving you that right percentage as well. Sometimes what we'll do for patients too is we actually can do retinol in pads but we can also mix the hydroquinone in these pads. So we may have you do pre-treat morning and night. So what I also wanted to tell you in regards to pigment, if you're coming in to have a peel done and pigmentation, melasma is one of your issues. First of all, you will never get rid of melasma. It's always gonna be there. What you're gonna to need to do is control it. So getting peels is great for that, but also you're going to be on a lightener slash brightener forever, okay? So um, uh, the protocol that I do is six months on hydroquinone, two months off, and it's a whole protocol because once you stop using hydroquinone, you typically have what we call a rebound. It's like the pigment comes back. So on months five and six, I like to pre-treat people with um, a non-hydroquinone lightener. Skin Better is a great one. Um, Lytera is very good as well. So you would do the non-hydroquinone lightener in the morning and the hydroquinone at night for two months, and then we cycle completely off. So that's why it's important to have a skincare professional keeping you on track with your protocol and making sure that you have everything that you need. So now, when you're, you're doing your peel, prior to your peel, five days before the peel, we need to stop certain products. So we need to stop retinols. We need to stop alpha hydroxy, beta hydroxy acids. We need to stop uh, topical acne medications, for example, tretinoin, benzoyl peroxide. And why we need to stop those five days prior to your peel is actually those particular um, products will make everything go deeper. So it could burn your skin. So I've had people come in and they have forgotten to stop their retinol and we actually will reschedule their peel because our main objective is to keep your skin safe. Okay, that's what we're here for. So with the perfect derma peel. So we're gonna be talking about the perfect derma peel. I and, really love this peel. And Cameron, yes. I can also share my screen. I brought up their website and our website with some before and afters. If, just, so just tell me if you want to do that at any point. Okay, great. Uh, I mean, I figured that once I'd go through the peel, what we could do is look at those photos. So okay, perfect. Be great, Thanks. thank you. Okay. Um, so with the perfect derma peel, one of the things that it actually is the most advanced, effective medical grade um, uh, peel available out there at this time. So what it does is it actually helps to improve clarity, tone, and texture. It's going to help with the reduction of pore size as well. It's going to soften fine lines and wrinkles around your um, eye area, around your mouth. And it also controls acne. It's gonna to help to, uh, with pigmented red and brown pigmented acne scarring. It also stimulates collagen and elastin for firmer, more youthful skin, okay? One of the things that um, the, perfect pe pe the Perfect Derma Peel has in it is it has glytoth uh, glytothione. And glytothione is a master antioxidant. It is the only peel on the market that has the glytothione in uh, the peel. It actually is a very potent anti-aging antioxidant. It helps fight free radicals. It helps enhance cellular health. It also um, helps to inhibit the production of melanin. So it's gonna give you the brighter and lighter skin, okay? Also, what the, one of the questions that I get with the Perfect Derma Peel is, can I do my face, neck, and chest? So with the peel, you only get so much, okay? So if in fact you have a lot of correction that you need to do on your skin, on your face, I would really recommend that you use everything so we can do multiple passes on your face. So you can do the neck and the chest. With the neck and the chest, you would wanna be able to, you only wanna do one pass on the neck and the chest. Your neck and your chest are really delicate, so we need to be very careful with them, okay? I do have patients who will purchase one for their face and another separate one for their neck and chest. We do have boosters also with the Perfect Derma Peel. So there's three different kinds of boosters. And um, with the boosters, there's one for really mature, um, very thick skin. So that's gonna boost that particular peel. We also have one that's more for acneic skin, okay? That's gonna help with the 
pigmented acne scarring and help to control that pigment. And then there's uh, the, the um, acne, I'm sorry. And then we have the Derma Plus. And what that is, is that's just kind of the middle of the road. We are not, when you come in for a peel, we're not gonna do your first peel with the boosters. And the reason why, again, our main thing is to keep your skin safe. So we will do a der perfect derma peel. And then if you're going to do corrective or we've done one on you before, we will then add the boosters, okay? So you wanna come in to make sure that you have your um, consult before that, okay? And also one of the things I do really like about the perfect derma peel is it's very easy. You actually have a post care kit that you actually take home with you. Not only does the post care kit have all of the products, but it also has instructions. So it's very simple. When you come in for your consult, we're going to go ahead and go through um, what to expect. We're going to go through the um, uh, pre and post and um, also take photos too. So, and then when you, so you'll be really well prepared for your uh, peel when you come in, when it's, you schedule the peel. When you schedule the peel, then we're going to go over that post care again and what to expect. And like I said, we take photos because we really like to see your before and afters. So in your post care, you have your instructions. So I'm going to be applying a peel um, later. And so you'll be able to see what your skin looks like after um, the application of the peel. So when you come in and we, we do the peel, you're going to leave with the peel solution on. The peel actually is self-neutralizing, so you don't have to take it off. The one thing we do want you to do is we want you to bring a hat with you because we can't put on, uh, we can't put sunscreen on top of the peel. So we want you to use a hat because you're going to need to be really careful in the sun. So that night you do nothing. You don't wash your face. You don't do anything. The next day, which is day two, is you're going to go ahead and wash your face with a gentle cleanser. Um, I recommend Elastin. Elastin is a great, very gentle cleanser. Um, it's not going to strip your skin. So you would actually use the Elastin. And then you would use one of these post-peel pads. And with the post-peel pad, it has retinol, vitamin C, and glutathione. Okay, so you're going to put that all over your face. You wait for 30 minutes, and then you're going to apply sunscreen which comes in your post peel box okay and then that night again cleanse your face with the gentle cleanser use another post peel pad wait 30 minutes and then you're going to apply your moisturizer okay you're going to do that until you've completely peeled one of the things you can add to that is also the elastin skin nectar okay you can add that uh, because it's going to help you to heal more quickly Okay, so you're going to use that until you've completely peeled, and then you can go back to your regular protocol. We're going to have you come back four to six weeks post peel. You may be scheduled for another peel, or um, we may just kind of want to see where we're at at that time. Every time you come in, we're going to take photos of you. Okay, so um, does anyone have any questions? Yes, we actually have two. Um, okay. So Terry's asking, what is the downtime? So Thank you, Terry, for your answer, for your question. So the downtime is, everyone's idea of social downtime is a little different. So when you apply the peel, let's say that you, um, when we get back to work, you're off on the weekends. So I would recommend that you get it done on a Wednesday afternoon. And you're actually fine to go to work on Thursday and Friday. You are going to be a little bit tight. Your skin may be a little bit discolored, but you can still work. Um, and you're going to actually, you would start peeling 48 hours post peel. So if you came in Wednesday afternoon, you'd start peeling Friday afternoon. You peel anywhere from five to seven days, okay? What I will tell you is the majority of the peeling is the first three days. When you're peeling, you never want to pick or pull or kind of scrub that peel, that uh, skin off. And the reason why is the skin underneath may not be ready. And if you pull or pick or scrub that off, you may scar your skin. So um, you can't really wear makeup at this time simply because you're, it's, it's very dry, okay? So I would say five to seven days. Okay. Um, another question we have is if you had a halo laser in the winter months, can you still do a derma peel throughout the year? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And, so how, and maybe how, how long after the halo? 
you can do it. You know, again, that's really going to depend on your particular skin. You know, I would like to say that everything is co cookie, cookie, uh, co uh, cookie cutter, but it's not. It really depends on how well you take care of your skin, what your goals are, what your damage is. So typically people will do it anywhere from like six months after. Okay. And then the second part of her question was, how much is it? Um, and we just talked about downtime. So, so how much is it? And we, I think that on our website, it says 325 if you're not in the Glam Fam, but if you're in the Glam Fam, that goes down to 276. And I don't know about the boosters though. That's... Um, the boosters are um, uh, $50 a piece. And usually like, again, when you come in for a consult, that's when we're going to all talk the price and everything. But um, uh, boosters are $50. And, uh, and also what if you buy a per if you purchase uh, three or more peels, you do get a 20% discount if in fact, you are part of Glam, Plan Glam Fam. Oh, excellent. Okay. And so for right now, that's all the questions we have. And what okay. you guys can keep asking them and I'll just keep track while Cameron goes. Okay, sounds good. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the perfect derma peel now. So this peel actually is TCA, it's retinoic acid, it has salicylic acid, phenol, phenol and glutathione and vitamin C, okay? So it's a pretty strong peel. I've been getting a lot of questions on why uh, we are sending our peels out to our patients. These are medical grade peels. So they're not to be done at home by, they're to be done by a professional. So first things first, I am going to prep my skin with prepping solution, which truly really is um, acetone. What we're doing is we're de degreasing the skin. So um, it's a textured, gauze so um go ahead and just go like that okay and we like to rub that off there we go also we're going to want to get right underneath there underneath the eyes i like to get really close to the eyes i'm going to go right on my under here as well and a little bit of the neck too okay there we go so we're all prepped there so we are going to then take the perfect derma peel. And remember I talked about you only have so much in your in uh, the container. So this is how much you're going to be having in the container, okay? So you can, again, like I said, use this all on the face or we can do face, neck, and chest, okay? So it depends on what kind of damage you have. So. What I'm gonna do is take the gauze, the textured gauze, and a lot of peels are, are done differently. So some of the peels, we actually use a, a, a paint brush, so to speak, or, or a little brush. With this, we really wanna drive the peel in with the textured gauze. So here we go. And I have to look at, so I'm gonna go right in here. Okay. And what's so nice about this peel too, is it doesn't really hurt because it, the first layer actually is going to numb the skin. So it's a little bit spicy right now, a little bit spicy, but we're okay. Okay, and I'm gonna go right up in there, right up in there, okay. And like I said, not really that spicy. Um, so I don't really even need a fan and just kind of a cooling sensation. We would wanna make sure that that um, layer kind of dries. So should have brought a little bit of a fan. And then we're just gonna do some more. I think what I'll do is I'll do a little bit on my decollete as well, because we always wanna make sure that we have a nice area right here. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and do a second layer. Okay, and what we're going to do is I'm actually going to be taking photographs throughout um, every day just to kind of show you what it looks like and what my progress is so you can know what kind of see what you can expect. Okay, so ah, it's a perfect time to do a peel. 
And like I said, you can see that I really get in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, almost done. Okay. And voila. It's actually very easy to apply. In our office, we have um, portable fans, um, uh, electric fans, so you can actually be fanning yourself during that. So you can see it's kind of blanching, get a little, getting a little bit white in some areas. I'd like to have more correction around my mouth. So I'm gonna go ahead, go in there. So when you say when you say it feels spicy, how how spicy is that? It's actually not that it's not bad at all. Of course, I think that I have a very high pain tolerance. <laughs> um, but I can feel it, you know, getting uh I kind of got it around my mouth too, which I got a little too close to my mouth, I think. Can you see that? Oh, yeah, I see the white. Mm-hmm. So that means it's working. It feels a little bit tighter. And what you're gonna be seeing, hmm. As this goes on, oh, I got a little lipstick on my teeth. Is you're going to be seeing that my skin for uh, tomorrow and the next day will be getting tighter, okay, and more difficult to talk, so to speak. But um, you can go back to work like this. Um, everyone's idea of downtime is a little bit different, but I would have no problem going back to work with this on. So, okay, so we have a question. Um, from Kelly, if you're using the hydroquinone for the four weeks prior, do you need to stop that using that before the perfect derma peel? You don't need to stop using the hydroquinone, but you do need to stop using retinol. Okay. And then Kathleen's asking, can she bring someone in to fan her and feed her grapes? Kathleen, <laughs> I would do anything for you. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Kathleen's our awesome, awesome, awesome lady who does lymphatic drainage massage for our post-surgery patients. So we love you, Kathleen. Thanks for coming today. Do you see how it's tightening right in here? Uh-huh. Yeah. So. Okay, we have one more question here. Does the, does the, oh, does the gauze, oh, okay. So this person, um, she said, does the gauze come in the packet and does the peel run down the face a little when applying? No, that's what you're, um, no, it does not. Um, the, ca oh. the gauze actually does come in the packet, but we actually would be applying the peel at the office, so. Yeah, um, you're not applying it on yourself, right? No, now. you're not applying, I would be applying it to, to you. Okay, and then Bonnie's asking, can you improve the hands with this product? You know, you can a bit, I mean, but under, you know, a bit, but I will tell you that it just, if you are skin type four through six, and this would be the only option versus a laser, you can certainly do that. What you can also do is you can use, as far as texture goes, you can also use the hydroquinone on your hands. You could use hydroquinone, you could use retinol on your hands as well. But anytime, you know, but you can absolutely do improvement. But understand that anywhere other than your face, it takes a lot longer for your hands and your neck and your chest to peel versus your face. The, the face always is much quicker to peel. So how long might you be looking at for your neck or chest to peel? Um, I would say probably, and sometimes it doesn't even peel. Okay, which doesn't mean that you haven't gotten a bad, uh, uh, you have gotten a bad treatment. It's just, a, you know, again, it doesn't peel as much. You may be looking at about um, five, to, five days before it even starts to peel as far as the neck and chest. And it may not peel at all. I seriously doubt that my neck and chest will peel. Okay. That doesn't mean that I haven't gotten a good treatment. Okay. And then is this something that it, it's, you, you talked about the skin types at the beginning, but in case we hadn't had enough coffee at that point, <laughs> what, it, is it okay for all skin types? It is okay for all skin types, but like I said, for skin types four through six, we definitely need to pre-treat. I, a lot of times people will call and say, I just want to get a peel done because you know, they want, we are so instant gratification. We want it now. 
But bottom line, if you are a skin type four through six, we are going to insist that you pre-treat for this particular peel four weeks prior to. There are some peels, I like for example, the Cosmolon, you don't have to pre-treat for that particular peel, but we're gonna need you to pre-treat for the Perfect Derma Peel if you are a skin type four through six. We are extra cautious. Um, I wanna make sure that your skin is, um, is safe, which is the most important thing. Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, Bonnie's asking, should we be expecting swelling with this peel? You, can, I, you know what? I bet you I do have some swelling. Under the eyes, you could expect some swelling from this particular peel. Um, not necessarily anywhere else, but sometimes people do have swelling. And swelling is a good thing. Um, it's, not, it's not a bad thing, but certainly you're not going to have the kind of swelling that you would with a the, with the laser by any means. And then how long, with that sort of spicy feeling you said, how, does that continue for like, 30 minutes or does it continue all the rest of today or how how long might it feel sort of hot it's going to feel a little sunburned i would say probably for um the next couple hours and then it'll calm down okay yeah and then if is this a um peel that you could use if you had active acne yes absolutely it's a great peel that you can use for active acne. I mean, we want to make sure that you calm it down a little bit, but it's really great to control acne with, um, with a, a peel. Um, it works really well. We also, I think, Monica, uh, Monique, if you want to pull up um, some of those before and afters right now, that would be great because there, there's some great before and afters with the pigmented acne scarring um, that we have. Yeah, okay, let me go. So can you see my screen? I can see your screen, okay. yep. So in our, um, on our website, I just went over to the little search bar. This is where I always default to go find things and I just typed in perfect derma and I got here. So um, here it talks, it has some Q and A's, but here's, here's somebody before and after one treatment. And th so this is what you were talking, Cameron, about the, the, um, Post inflammatory scarring. Uh huh. And a lot of times with pigmented acne scarring, a lot of times people will have not only browns but reds. It really does help with the red pigmented acne scarring as well. And if you see the one, uh, the one patient below that, you see the pigmentation, you know, again before. And um, like I said, what, what we're trying to do with all these treatments is really create a clean canvas that reflects light because your skin is going to look lighter and brighter. So it's going to clean up that pigment. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, okay, and then I'm going to go over to their website. So, sure. the, theperfectdermapeel.com. And they had, I couldn't find a way to make these bigger, but you can go in on your own too. And they've got some, they've got some videos, but here's, so here's one um, where she's, it looks like plus home use to home use of a bleaching agent or a you know, hydroquinone probably. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she's much, she's much more. Oh, there's that lady. Okay. And let's see this after one treatment. Yes. Now this is after two. The, yeah. And you can see the clarity of her skin. And this would be a patient that we would definitely pre-treat with a hydroquinone before. Absolutely. And what's, since some, some of us, <laughs> me, <laughs> I don't know the Fitzpatrick scale. So what would you say this person, Fitzpatrick type number? I would treat her as a Fitzpatrick type, um, probably five, six, probably six, just to be safe. Okay. okay? And with African-American skin, uh, you really need to be really cautious because they do definitely have a tendency to have that post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Okay. Oh, look. Oh, here's an acne patient. With exactly. This, with this just one treatment. That's amazing. Holy yeah. cow. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. This okay I'm signing up, Cameron. <laughs> there you go. It's, it's a great, it's a really great treatment. And um, one of the things that's important about having a con, oh, you can see with this one, fantastic. Look at the difference with the skin texture. Yeah. It's amazing. Yes. Well, and you can even see tightening, like look at the, even she just got some tightening just around here mm -hmm. um, and all that extra and look right here too. Oh my gosh. Exactly. So, so she did yeah. with the, the second one with the booster six months later. Yes. 
Okay. So and then you have more of a skin clarity there. And like I said, everyone is going to be different. And that's why it's important to, you know, consult. Oh, look at that improvement with under the eye area, which we all want improvement under the eye. For sure. And I think for men, this is a really great thing. I mean, they do have to have some time that they're going to be at home for mm -hmm. it. So if they work at home, certainly great. But, you know, for men, I think a lot of guys are afraid of, you know, looking too done, quote unquote, this just gives a really nice refresh mm -hmm. without them feeling like they look too, they're partaking too deeply. <laughs> well, they still want to look masculine. And I think, yeah. that, you know, which is really important. And so this really helps. And there you look with the, with the decollete. One of the things I want to talk about with the decollete too, is that you can use the hydroquinone pads on your decollete. You can use retinol on your decollete. You don't really want to use retinol on your neck um, because your neck is just really delicate. But, um, you know, it's really important. One of the other things I do want to say about the decollete too, it's not enough just to wear sunscreen. You really want to cover that when you're outside because we as women get so much incidental sun just right on our neck and decollete. So you really want to be really cautious. Okay. Oh, and this is somebody who's using it for their back. Yes. And we can absolutely do the back as well, which is great. Oftentimes what we'll do is we'll prep the skin with um, a kind of a, a, an exfoliating treatment um, that's more of a um, mechanical exfoliating treatment and then do the peel on top. So there's so many different ways that we can do this. Um, and it really just depends, like I said, on what your, what your skin is like what your goals are, um, how much time you have. And so, you know, again, it's not an instant gratification. It's something that we work on and, and kind of come up with a plan for, for you specifically. Okay. And then, so where um, I can, so uh, for the Q and A, if you guys want to come back in later to our website and go to the, uh, just go to the search bar and type in perfect derma peel and it'll, come up with um, a list of things that match, but here you can, it gives you an overview and then you can kind of click over here to Q and A um, where it can, can give you some more information like what is so great about glutathione. Um, so glutathione is, is amazing. And I wanted to also say that a lot of times Purchasing a package is really great because you can, maybe you don't want to do the peels all consecutively, but you can certainly have that kind of in your bank to be able to do um, once every three months or what have you. Now I have somebody who raised their hand, but I don't see a question. Um, so I don't know if that was a by, by accident. Um, so if you have a question, go ahead and pop it in the chat or the Q&A section. Um, but in the meantime, just in case, we'll wait, wait a second for that, is if you'd like to know um, what our specials are right now, because we have a bunch of specials on skincare. And I think because we're all at home, you know, this is the perfect time to be able to, you know, get our skin looking as good as we can without, without Cameron's intervention until <laughs> we open up again. But if you go up over here to the pricing menu and you go down to current specials, that's where you can see everything we've got going on. And um, so we one of the great specials going on too. We do. Oh know, my I, gosh. Yes. I've been really busy. So, yes. <laughs> so one of the things when Cameron mentioned about the special pricing, so one of the things that we're, we've never done this before, which is our Glam Fam, which is a membership. Um, and it gets you our low pricing every day. So, and it gets you access to certain specials. So, the buy one, get one, you buy one year of your Glam Fam, you're going to get the second year for free. So that's $120. And then, so say you have, say you're a part of the Glam Fam right now and you've got, you know, six months left. We're just going to tack on that to your membership. And this you can actually buy online. So it'll take you over to our store and um, it, you can just put in new member or renewal and add it to your cart and then come back and put in a renewal. And at the end, it'll, it'll take the second one off. But then this will show you, this shows you what you get for that $120. Um, all of the different things that you get the special pricing on. Oh, you're looking at your skin. looks good. 
Are you looking at, oh, oh could you I was see? Looking at, oh, I can see you. Maybe not everybody can see you. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I forget who can see what. It's hard on this end. Um, so anyway, so that was one of our things that we've got going on. And then um, let me go back. And right now we have 37% off Skin Medica. And we had some math issues the other day. And we, we were thinking that how the, how the uh, but I'll show you how it works. So our store for Skin Medica, you see that their Skin Medica themselves are giving 30% off, but we're giving you 10% off automatically when you come in. So let's pretend we're going to look for, um, you know, let's see, the Aha Baja Cleanser. This 4250 is already discounted by 10% from the regular retail. So that's where the first percentage comes off. Then you can add it to your cart and it will then take 30% off, which is a combined 37. So in case anybody was had questions on how that's working, you can see the difference. So the Instant Bright Eye Cream, if you that's their new, we love this new eye cream. This is um, $79.50 on our site because normally it's $88. So it's that 10% comes off, then 30% comes off. And um, so you see you're going to pay $55, $65 plus tax if, when there's tax um, added in. So some those are just a few of the specials we have, but feel free to poke around um, the website. And then I'm going to pass it back to you, Cameron. Okay. Uh, One second. Okay. Okay stop share there we go I so think do you see how much more red my skin is getting mm -hmm. yeah I and you have a... I got it really close to my mouth which is not a good thing <laughs> oh. um, but what i'm gonna do is i will be taking photographs um every day so that you and we'll post those on our on our uh, social media or what have you just so you can see what it's going to look like on uh, you know day by day Okay. So a lot of times, and what I'll also do for patients of mine is with the post care, if I do it on a Wednesday, we're going to also give you, you know, a number that you can call over the weekend so that you, you know that we're going to take good care of you because it's, you know, we, we, we want to be able to be there if you have any questions or concerns. But um, if you haven't done appeal before, definitely it's great to get that kind of in your arsenal of, of things that you do. I like to incorporate lasers, peels, microneedling, um, all of those things. But I'm going to tell you too, skincare is literally 70% of what your skin looks like, what you do at home. It's really, really important. And I think it's important that people realize that all of this stuff works together for you to get the best result for your skin. And that's actually a really good point. Um, I think, you know, because we do spend a fair amount of money on things like Botox or fillers or, you know, any other things that we, you know, our hair and our <laughs> makeup. But, you know, really sometimes we don't, we tend to short, short change ourselves on the skincare side. And I think that's one of the things that I think with our different sales that we have going on, you know, Cameron and both, uh, and Amy both can do a complimentary Zoom um, skincare consultation with you. Mm -hmm. So they can sit there, have a, have a one-on-one -on -one with you, look at your skin and get you diagnosed now. So you can mm -hmm. order those products, get the better deals, um, mm -hmm. and get started. And then, you know, come in for a, a diamond glow facial or come in for a consult, you know, figuring out about getting a peel scheduled. Um, but I would say definitely take us up on those, um, free virtual consultations. And, and our version of Zoom is a HIPAA compliant version. So everything's safe and encrypted. Um, and then we have a couple more questions. Um, okay. Myra says, what are the products to use prior to the derma, derma appeal? Okay, well, um, again, I think that everyone, before the perfect derma appeal, two weeks before the elastin skin nectar. So I love to have patients use this before laser as well. But with the Elastin Skin Nectar, one of the things it does is it clears out that um, extracellular matrix of all the debris. So you're gonna get a better um, result for your peel. Also using any retinols prior to your peel is really important. That helps kind of slough off the, the dead skin so you get a better result as well. If you are a skin type four through six, you're gonna use a um, uh, something to help with the, a lightener brightener, preferably hydro 
tetraquinone um, to make sure that you don't have any um, issues with post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So it really is important that you have a consult prior to your um, peel so that we can, you know, all be on the same page and get you on the right products to make sure you get the best result. Yeah, very sure. Very good point. Um, so SPF, when could, when do you have people start applying SPF? Oh, well, it comes, remember, the SPF comes in your post-care kit, and this is the mineral SPF, so you would actually start using that the second day. So you would cleanse your skin, use that towelette, and then use your, your uh, SPF, okay? okay? And we like you to use this SPF because it's a mineral SPF and it's not a chemical SPF, so it's going to be better for your skin while you're going through the peel. Okay, and then Cher's asking, uh, what do you recommend as the best eye cream? Well, Instant Bright. I'm loving the Instant Bright. We have great, you know, I, I think it's a, it's a wonderful um, eye cream. I like to use that up on my brow bone as well. Um, I also, so the Instant Bright, I really feel like it helps with dark circles too. Um, I do love the TNS um, eye repair that you can get on the Brilliant Connections website. I think that's a great eye cream as well. The Neo Cutis Lumiere. I like skin better. I really have to say that I, I switch things up. I will use one particular product till it's completely gone, and then I may switch to another product or what have you. So it really just depends. And um, yeah, so I really am liking the Instant Bright, and I also like the um, I the I um, patch. Well, the masks, the eye masks as well. Yeah, Amy demonstrated those a couple weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, they're that great. Was so cute. They're so nice. And that's one of our specials. When you go back to that specials page, mm -hmm. um, you can't do it online, but you buy the Instant Bright um, mm -hmm. eye cream through us in the office, and Charity then will send you a free box of the eye masks, which is a $48 value. So mm -hmm. um, that's, a, that's a good thing, too. And then the last question we have is, are we open for treatments yet? Oh, I, you know, I have to tell you guys, we cannot wait to get back, but you know, and I know a lot of people, we, we just can't wait to get back, but you know, we're, we're, we're all in this together. We're going to go by the guidelines because that's the kind of business that we are. I'm so, I'm, you know, we really, um, LJCSC really follows the rules and I re that's one of the reasons that we have such a great reputation. So we're going to go by the guidelines for the state of California and um, we're going to open when it's safe for everybody. But as soon as we open, we will be letting you guys know. I can't wait to see you guys. I'm, I miss all of you. And um, I know we all do, you know, are very anxious to get back to you. We definitely are. And I know that um, I just got last night a, an update to send to all our patients um, with uh, the latest that we have based yeah. on what happened this week. And it'll probably be, it could be different when we start surgery versus because outpatient surgery centers, you know, are treated differently than the med spot possibly. So we don't really know. And it might be different between the two departments um, in our, in our office. But if you want to get the, if you're not already on our email list, you can sign up. But I would say, if you want to do our text list, you would just text to the word GLAM, G-L-A-M, to 858-452-2066. Mm -hmm. And then when I put up um, the latest information and put it on our website, then I send out a text to everybody and you can, it just links over. So that's probably the best way, Bonnie, that you could, um, you know, kind of know what's happening mm -hmm. the quickest, I would say. Well, we're so, definitely going to be letting people know because we're anxious to get back to taking care of you as well. For sure. Okay, everybody. Well, thank you. And thank you, Cameron. And I hope your face isn't too much on fire. You look great. You're no, just it's not. It's not too much on fire at all. And um, I'll have, you know, photos of what it, you know, again, what the post care is going to be looking like and what um, I will be looking like as we go through the peel process. And I just wanted to say um, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. And I want to thank Monique. For all of your hard work and I want to thank all of um, our L um, LJCSC family for um, just being there for for all of us and we just want you to know that we really miss you 
and we're really looking forward to getting back to work and being there for you. So thanks again for joining me. Oh yeah. Thanks. I, I second that. <laughs> and with that, our meeting is adjourned. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.